If you have users that don't regularly work in QuickBooks and only need access to connected services like payroll, workforce, T-sheets, or capital, you can invite them to create an Intuit account. Then they'll be assigned a basic user role. This is a required default role that's automatically assigned to the user and by itself doesn't grant any permission. Let's go to the company menu, select users, and select Intuit account user management. You can see we have two users, myself as a primary admin and Barry with the payroll processor roles. Barry still hasn't accepted the invite because the status shows as pending. You can also search for a particular user by email address. On the Roles tab, you will see the name and description for each available role that needs an Intuit account. Go back to the Users tab, select Add User to create another user. Enter the user's email along with the role to assign. Basic User is automatically assigned. Add another role if needed, then select Add. Select Add User you will get a pop-up message that confirms that an invite was sent to their email address. Have the user check their email and look for the invite. To access their role permission, they'll need to select Accept Invite, then sign in using their email or user ID. Select OK. If needed, you can resend an email to a user with a pending status or delete the invite Watch our next video on a new feature of QuickBooks V21 on how to create a customer group. If you liked this video and felt you received value, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way, you'll be alerted when I create another video like this and allows me to create more videos for you. Thank you for watching my video.